Welcome back. In the previous video, we solved the third part of this question. That is, finding the probability that both balls are of the same color. In this video, we are going to use a different method to solve that question again. So we are going to use a different method to find the probability that both balls are of the same color. This method is simpler than the one we considered in the previous video. In the videos on events and types of events, we learned that if the probability that an event E will occur is P into bracket E, then its complement is given by P into bracket E complement and P into bracket E plus P into bracket E complement will give us 1. In that video, we considered the following examples. We said that if P into bracket A is the probability that Ama will go to school on Monday, then P into bracket A complement will give us the probability that Ama will not go to school on Monday. And if that is the case, then P into bracket A, which is the probability that Ama will go to school on Monday, plus P into bracket A complement, which is the probability that Ama will not go to school on Monday, will give us 1. We also consider this example. If P into bracket R is the probability that it will rain today, then P into bracket R complement will give us the probability that it will not rain today. And if we add P into bracket R to P into bracket R complement, we are going to get 1. We can apply this knowledge that we have here to solve the third part of this question, that is, the probability that both balls are the same color. Now, let's consider these statements very carefully. We will first concentrate on the first example. In the first example, we have the probability that Ama will go to school on Monday. And we also have the probability that Ama will not go to school on Monday. We can see clearly from this example that the first statement is the exact opposite of the second statement. Ama will go to school on Monday. Ama will not go to school on Monday. And if you have this, then the probability of the first statement plus probability of the second statement will give us 1. In the same way, when we come to this second example, in the first statement, we have probability that it will rain today. In the second statement, we have probability that it will not rain today. We can also see that the first statement is the exact opposite of the second statement. It will rain today. It will not rain today. When you have such an example, then the probability of the first statement plus probability of the second statement will give us 1. Now let's consider this question, the question that we have been solving. If you look at the second question here, probability that both balls are of different colors. And we consider the third question, probability that both balls are of the same color. We can also see from here that the first statement, that is, both balls are of different colors, and the second statement, both balls are of the same color, are opposites. The first statement, that is, both balls are of different colors, is the exact opposite of the second statement, both balls are of the same color. When we come here, we have, Ama will go to school on Monday. Ama will not go to school on Monday. It will rain today. It will not rain today. When you consider this statement also, we can see that both balls are of different colors. Both balls are of the same color. The second statement is the opposite of the first statement. We have seen that when you have that, we can say that probability of the first statement, that is probability that both balls are of different colors. When you add that probability of the second statement, that is probability that both balls are of the same color, you are going to get 1. So we can say that probability that both balls are of different colors plus probability that both balls are of the same color will give us 1 because the first statement is the exact opposite of the second statement. We want to find the probability that both balls are of the same color. So we are going to make that the subject. That means that we are going to send this term, that is probability that both balls are of different colors, we are going to send it to the other side of the equation. And this will give us 
probability that both balls are of the same color is equal to 1 minus probability that both balls are of different colors. We have already calculated the probability that both balls are of different colors in the previous video. We had 12 divided by 25. So if you want to find probability that both balls are of the same color, it is 1 minus probability that both balls are of different colors. And we know probability that both balls are of different colors to be 12 divided by 25. So we can say that probability that both balls are of the same color is equal to 1 minus 12 divided by 25, which will give us 13 divided by 25. So probability that both balls have the same color is 13 divided by 25. So we can see clearly from here that we got the same answer as we got in the previous video. And this method is simpler than the one we used in the previous video. What this means is that 1 minus probability that both balls are of different colors will give you the probability that both balls are of the same color. And in the same way, 1 minus probability that both balls are of the same color will give you the probability that both balls are of different colors colors. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. In the question we have been solving so far, the balls were selected from the bag one after the other with replacement. In the next video, we are going to solve a question where the balls will be selected one after the other without replacement. Bye-bye.